of the water and it sings back to her. So for the official opening of our conference, I am in very honored to introduce Charlene to everyone. Mino Gijep, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So I did go out to sing to the water this morning. You know, I'm, I'm trying to make it a priority because in the winter I even go out there and sing and I, I walk in a circle, you know, so I can sing to all the directions, you know, because water is all over in this, in this world of ours that we're living in. And one of the things that I do besides singing to the water is I always wake up and I say, I'm going to have a good day. And that's one of the things my brother um, taught me to, to do every day, you know, um, because we'll, we want our mother, the earth, to pay attention to us. And she knows when we say we're going to have a good day, she hears it, you know, because she's everywhere on, on this earth. You know, the, the earth is her. You know, so I'm just amazed at uh, the things that I've learned over the years, you know, and, and I didn't think I knew anything, actually, you know, and there's still so much for me to learn as a Anishinaabe um, Anokamis, eh? So uh, uh, I would, you know, welcome everybody to or encourage everybody, like I do with the climate reality, the last one I was at, is to have everybody Go down to the water, whatever source of water that you have, and just put your hand into it and say good morning because the water has memory, water is life, water pays attention, water provides us with so much, you know, and uh, I had my special glass of water today from uh, a spring that I go get my water at, you know, and I go different areas depending on where I am because I even go to Hanover to the Sulphur Springs, you know, because I drive through there to visit my, my sons and grandchildren. And it just makes me, as a human being, feel better each day that I can, you know, drink a glass of water that's clean you know and we want to take care of every everything for our grandchildren and the next seven generations and that's something that we have to think about each and every day is our grandchildren their children and all the children that are supposed to be coming uh, in the future we want this earth to be clean for them you know even when you walk out you know, into the bush or wherever you're walking, like just pay attention to where your footsteps are going. And because our mother is paying attention to every step we take, even though we, a lot of people don't realize it, but we were put here for a reason, for a purpose. And I guess I'm kind of getting into my purpose, you know, which is just trying to get everybody to wake up to the earth and the water and the aliveness of it all, you know, because people are forgetting, you know, everybody has a heritage with the earth. It's not just uh, Anishinaabe people, it's everybody. If you go back into your histories, you will find that everybody connected to the earth in one form or another. So we have to pay attention to where we came from and maybe look at our ancestries and go back as far as you can, you know, because people from Europe where most settlers came from had a way long time ago of, you know, participating with different things on this earth, paying attention to the earth and realizing that our medicines and everything came from the earth. The earth helps us in our health. You know, when we go outside and we breathe the air, you just take that deep breath and totally enjoy it. Or whatever time you go outside, just realize, like, just take that deep breath and realize the gift of life that we have that's provided, you know, in everything. You know, it's like amazing that we can, here in Canada, we can go out and just, you know, go out to the forest 
go down to the shoreline, hug a tree. Oh my goodness, we have hugging tree clubs with climate reality people that have heard me throughout and it's like, I'm like amazed, you know, that, but hugging a tree, you know, those trees speak to you. It's, it's amazing. Like if you hug a tree and just listen, you know, cause the leaves, the sound, everything sounds different when they know a human is nearby because the trees know that we're related to. Um, and that's one of the things I think that we have to remember that we're related to everything. And, you know, when you look at that Ancestry.com and they do the DNA testing, they should test for trees because we are related to all this stuff. It's like totally amazing. And we need to connect more, you know, and connect with each other. Like it's really hard now with COVID, but here we are. Look at all these people on, on the screen that I can see and smile because the earth mother loves to see smiles she loves to hear laughter because that'll help her i believe in my soul that that'll help her and i i think about it more and more each day as i go outside and just walk in the forest you know i had my hands in the water you know the water's cooling off but then i washed my face with it you know and it's like the healthiest thing i can do for myself like my goal is like, because I'm going to be 70 in November and I feel like a baby because I don't know anything. You know, I feel like I don't know enough. Uh, there's so much for us to learn, you know, and I was born in just before winter and that is one of my favorite seasons because I can go out to the snow. I make snow angels still. I think that's amazing that I can get on the ground and make an angel and look and say, my God, I am blessed to be able to do this and enjoy it. You know, I live along the shoreline and it's amazing. You know what I get to see every day. And I have an eagle that comes and lands in the cedars in the wintertime and the golden eagle fishes in the water in front of me. And now like that's to me is a blessing. Like I just, I'm amazed that, I get to see all those things. So we have to wake up, you know, to all those things and pay attention to all those things that are around us. Like, you know, everybody's looking for animal totems and all these type of things. And if we pay attention, we'll, we'll find out what ours is, you know, um, um, hawks, you know, give us messages. And when you see a hawk, you know, they're going to give you a message. Like if you see a lot of them and you have to pay attention each and every day, like what kind of message are you going to get? And the messages aren't, you know, on, on the internet or whatever. It's what you feel. It's how you feel in your body. We have to pay attention to everything, you know. And it's like because of the water walk and we've, we've walked from – Nochomoaning, all the way down to Niagara Falls. This year was the backward year for that. So we start at Niagara Falls and come all the way up to Nochomoaning. And we stop at all the streams, wherever the water is moving. And we pray and thank the water for being here on this earth. And I've walked in the territory, all around the territory, and we've done the same thing. You know, we put our tobacco down and we're grateful for all the water that is on this earth. Um, you know, we go to all the springs as we walk, and those springs are what feeds the lakes and helps to keep them clean. You know, so, but we have to pay attention to that too. Like, how can we keep everything clean? Like me, I have uh, plastic bags. You know, we shouldn't use plastic bags, but I gather up bottles, you know, and cans. You know, my son gathers up everything when he's out walking, you know, so I can be proud that I've taught my son something, you know, let's keep everything clean. You know, so it's our job to tell our children and our grandchildren, like, if you see something, pick it up, you know, um, I've even seen masks out there and th that makes me really sad that those are laying out on the ground that people aren't thinking like, you know, you're, you're 
you don't want to spread anything, but you're throwing those things on the earth. But there you are spreading garbage, you know, and we shouldn't do that. You know, there's just so many things that we can do as humans on this earth. You know, we have to look at these gifts each and every day and just breathe it in and just say good morning and say hello. You know, I'm just, I just can't um, say it enough how blessed I feel each and every day. You know, and to me, that keeps me healthy being able to wake up every day and say, I'm going to have a good day. Like that keeps me healthy knowing that something or someone is taking care of me besides myself. You know, um, I, I'm, a, I'm also a gatherer. I go out and I collect and I make my own teas, you know, and I bought a bunch of teapots. So if I ever get company, I can, brew them up a cup of tea that, you know, something I've gathered, you know, in, um, in the springtime, I go out and I collect a lot of, I look at all the flowers and see what I can make tea out of, you know, because there's so many medicines out there, you know, that we have to take care of <coughs> so that we can continue doing our thing, you know, so I have that tea. It's like a spring cleansing thing, you know, that I do. I do a lot of that stuff. I just forget about my house sometimes, you know, you know, how I get kind of unorganized. And then when I try to organize my, myself, I unorganize myself more, you know. So now, you know, because it's um, October and I use wood heat and I have to bring my wood in and this rain just is not letting it dry. And it's not thinking, oh my goodness, you know, but we need this rain. It's coming for a purpose. You know, it's um, stocking, the water is stocking itself, filling up the rivers and the springs, helping everything. You know, even though um, we, there's puddles and there's too much water, you know, it's helping the earth. It's, it's giving her water back, you know, where she's recycling. It's like amazing the recycles that we see. And we kind of have to, continue to have hope and not be so worried about what's happening on this earth. It's our job as human beings and climate reality and health, you know, it's our job to take care of this earth. It's up to us to be healthy for ourselves, for our grandchildren, for everybody. We need to pay attention to who we are as humans. We're a human being on this earth. And we're all connected to each other, even though we don't think about it sometimes, you know. Um, I was reading one uh, a while back that there was this man in the 1700s who kind of separated us because we were, some were darker, some were lighter, but, you know, uh, we're all related, we're all connected. We all walk on this earth and we all enjoy the benefits of what this earth has given us. You know, there's so much that the earth gives us each and every day. And it's up to us to take care of that. I know I'm repeating a lot of things, but that's, that's part of our job to our grandchildren and the children after. We have to repeat so that they'll say, okay, yeah, I, I heard you, Grandma. Yeah, because my granddaughter just told me that. And she says, Grandma, do you remember when we went and picked this? And I was upset that I had to walk in the bush with you. But now I appreciate walking into the bush with you, spending time with you. And that's what we want with our grandchildren and our great grandchildren. We want all that for them. And we want them to appreciate everything that is here before us. Like, I just can't stress that enough. It just makes me proud to be a Nishnabe, you know, because in our culture, we, we've always known that we were connected. And, and even when I was a child and I used to look up at the stars, you know, and I'd look up there and I'd see those stars and I'm thinking, there's somebody up there that I know. There's somebody up there that's taking care of me. And I've always known that. So I'm, I try not to be into the fear 
And I think if we can keep away from that fear, you know, because I think um, uh, Prime Minister in England, um, Winston Churchill, said something about fear and that's fear in itself is fear. Like we don't want to have fear. We want to have a pure joy each and every day. And when we go outside and we see the trees, now they're uh, gonna rest for the winter because the leaves are falling off, you know, and the leaves are falling to the ground and coating the ground before the snow comes. But the leaves, you know, are, are, are for us in all different ways. You know, it's a reminder that we have to rest also. And I, I'm uh, at this point in my, my life where I can nap every day. And it's like amazing. Like when I was young, I don't want to nap. I don't want to miss anything. But now I can nap. And then when I wake up, okay, I'm ready to do some other things. You know, so... Um, and I'm um, not a vegetarian. I, I just had venison this week with shaggy mane mushrooms. Like I like to, I like to eat like that because when I was young, uh, I could go out hunting and uh, partridge and rabbit kind of went were um, main staples when I was young and going out and collecting um, morales and shaggy manes you know i don't know every mushroom out there so i don't pick everything because you know that those are the things that i need to learn yet and so i want to wake up and continue learning about the things that we can eat in the forest you know in our culture we were always taught to look at the animals and if the animals don't eat it you don't eat it because the animals know and we can learn from each other and I have a new puppy now, and her name is Pink. And she is teaching me to love more because animals have that unconditional love that uh, we as humans are forgetting about. And I look at her and I can scold her, but she still loves me, you know. So we, we as humans, we have to do what our pets show us to do like because they look at us and they wag their tails and even though they don't say good morning you know they're happy to see you you know so you have to hug them you know so pink is uh, a wonderful dog that i have now and she's part australian blue healer and i love that it's like oh my god she's going to heal me <laughs> and she does with her love you know, and we all have to look at that, the love part of everything, you know, um, because um, it'll help the earth. We, we want to be human beings that are full of love and happiness and joy because our mother, the earth, knows that and feels it. So we want to present ourselves each morning with our love and joy so that the earth mother, so that she knows, yes, those human beings are loving and I'm feeling that love from those human beings. And they're walking on this earth and they're take care, taking care of me. Those human beings are precious to me as I am precious to her. You know, so um, being able to stay healthy and walk on this earth is something that each and every one of us can do. It's a gift as a human to be able to walk on this earth, breathe the air on this earth, hug the trees on this earth, sing to the water on this earth. There is so much that is here for us to be happy and content with with the gifts that our mother, the earth, have given us. Like, it's, it's amazing. So if we can wake up every day and be amazed that we are here and we are walking on the earth and breathing and seeing everything, it's like amazing. And we have to wake up to be amazed at everything that is around us. It's like the gifts that she has presented each and every day 
Um, I'm not sure how long I've been here or been talking, but um, those are the things that I wake up to every day. I want to feel that joy. I know I am blessed. You know, my grandmother uh, from Perry Island used to send us out when we were kids to gather things and we'd be up in trees picking this because she needed for she needed it for all those things and one of my favorite memories of my grandma um mary paywis from perry island is um we had this old round oak table and it was in the living room kitchen the that room provided us for everything and we had one of those crank up phonographs that they called it and she'd wind that thing up and the only record she had was the William Tell Overture and we'd be running around that table and she'd kind of she did it just to wear us out before we went to bed because we'd be breathing hard when we were done then she'd crank that thing up again and away we'd run and uh, when she did that I kind of fell in love with a lone ranger when I was a child oh my god I was in love with a man, even though we didn't see him. And it was black and white back then, you know. And I never got to watch TV probably till I was like 10 years old, you know. And then it was black and white, but I'd watch stuff on that TV and I'd almost be in there because I felt like I was part of it. So I think, you know, we that's what we have to do with this earth is go outside and just get right in it and be part of it. You know, that's what we're promoting with climate reality. We want to be able to do that with our grandchildren and all the future generations of this earth. So when I'm looking at all you people and I see you all and I know that you're do all doing important work and we all can go out there and present in some way, you know, um, do things for our friends and neighbors like, I hope I remember when I go home today, we have kind of like a blockade. So uh, only certain people are allowed to go home. I, I want to bring somebody there a coffee. And, and I found that out when I was in London to visit my sons and grandchildren. One time I went to get a coffee and somebody said, oh, a man paid that, paid for that coffee for you. So, you know, if we can do stuff like that, go to Tim Hortons, hand them over five to $10 and say, that's for the coffee, for the person or people behind us. And it's amazing how happy that makes you feel. And that's part of our health and happiness, you know, that we can share with different people besides doing these Zoom calls, you know, we can pass it on. You know, so I'm hoping that maybe everybody will go out to Tim Hortons, put down $5 and buy somebody a coffee that doesn't even know you and it'll make them happy. And then they'll pass it on and things will grow. And that's what we want. We want our goodness in this life to grow. And, we went, and when we let that goodness in our life grow, the earth is paying attention to what we are doing as human beings. And look at yourself as a human being. Uh, we have to forget about our culture and all those things and realize that we're friends and neighbors and relations, like we're all related. We were all related at some point. And if we look at the teachings from all our ancestors, because they're all similar in this life, you know, no matter what culture we're from, we all have the same teachings. It's like amazing, you know, and, and that's our connection to everything, you know, because we all, I believe we came from the stars because I look up there and I look at the stars and I say, I know you and I know I'm related to you. So we know the earth is being taken care of by, by all our ancestors that are out there in the universe. You know, so it's up to us being on this earth, take care, taking care of it, 
taking care of our families, our relations, and everything that we can think of each and every day. Let's be those good human beings that are taking care of this earth and taking care of the water, taking care of the trees and everything that's growing on it. And go outside and say, good morning, I'm here and I am blessed. And I'm going to enjoy my gifts today and each and every day. Ahau miigwech. Miigwech, Charlene. Thank you so much, Charlene. What a wonderful message for all of us. I hope, unlike your grandkids, that everyone heard this message clearly the first time through. Um, I always kind of like to recap these things, but there was so much there I wouldn't even know where to start. I think certainly your message about the water and the trees links so well with what we hope to talk about today. Um, how can we really um, positively affect climate change that's negatively affecting our, our water and our trees? And, and I think your message too about regardless of our age, we always have more that we want to learn and experience. And hopefully today is, is part of that learning. 